In this video, we're going to look at the Combine Core and Cavity command. This command is useful if you want to take four separate cores and cavities like you see here in this file, Combine Core Cavity IAM, and basically turn it into one large lump. And that might be easier for you to work with, not necessarily in a machining standpoint, but when it comes to actually utilizing the mold commands here inside of the environment. What we're going to do here is go to our Mold Assembly tab, and click on Combine Cores and Cavities. And if you're paying attention, I actually did this earlier in the course, but in case you missed it, that's really why I want to talk about this here. So we're going to take this one and combine it with these other ones here. So we're going to combine all of them. We can actually add a clearance if we would like, and also have the symmetrical cores turned on here. I'll say OK. Symmetrically, we're combining it all into one large lump. Notice here, there is a gap down the middle. Let's take a look at how to modify this feature. On the left-hand side, I'll just double-click it to go back in there. And let's modify our clearance, 3.2. And the same thing on the cavities to be combined, 3.2. There we are. I didn't show it before, but if you expand the chevrons here next to the Cancel button, you can also add chamfers to the combined corn cavity all the way around. And we'll choose OK to update that. Here's our newly updated combined cores and cavities. Now, if you didn't want this gap in here, it might be a good idea to actually add those parts together better in a pattern to begin with. But this is what they're currently at now. So this was the combined core and cavity tool.